Everything was going well in Cog's Hollow. Biffolino was in fine voice. Oh, I do like to be in Cog's Hollow. Oh, I do like to be here every day. Just then, Cranky rattled up. Hello, Cranky. It's a lovely day, no? No, it's not a lovely day. Tolly's decided she wants a rockery in her garden, and I've got to get the rocks. Where am I supposed to get rocks from at this time of day? Just then, Gusty hopped in. Hello, boys. Lovely day for flying. Well, that's all right for them that can fly. Some of us have got to stay here on the ground looking for rocks for Tolly's garden. Oh, I know a place where there are loads of rocks. I just flew over it. You don't mean that rock quarry where the rock bashers live, do you? We can't go there. The rock bashers will get us. Yes, once you go in there, you'll never get out. I can get out. I can fly. I'm not scared. How many rocks do you want? N no, no, it's too dangerous. That's what you think. Just watch me. And with that, Gusty shot up into the air and flew off towards the quarry. Oh, dear. I hope nothing happens to him. No, no, he'll be all right. He can fly. Gusty hovered over the rock quarry, looking for the best rocks. He spotted some that would be just right and swooped down to get them. Oh, these will do just fine, said Gusty. Suddenly, a big net landed on top of him and the rock bashers roared with laughter. Gotcha! <laughs> said the rock bashers. Just what we need, a little helicopter to help us move our rocks round much more quickly. Yeah, used to hard work, are we? <laughs> well, I used to work on a carousel, said Gusty, nervously. Oh, that's good, so you'll be used to going round and round all day and night. <laughs> Luckily, at that moment, Flip flew past and saw what was happening. Oh no, poor Gusty, I must tell the others. Listen, everybody, we need a rescue plan. The rock bashers have got Gusty. Ha, oh, he's a terrible. This looks like a job for the drills. Come on, let's. Poor Gusty was being forced to lift enormous rocks. Come on, get on with it. The sooner we get that road built, the sooner we can get out of here and get our revenge on those mechanicals. Ha, 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 ha. Not so fast, cried Oxy, as he and the drills parachuted in, buzzing with all their might. Don't worry, Gusty, cried Flip. We'll soon have you out of there. The drills buzzed round, annoying the rock bashers, who couldn't catch them. Oh, it's a bit cold round here, isn't it? Oh, uh, well, it should warm you up. Oh, so uh, you're rock bashers, eh? Try bash your knees. Let go, Gusty! With that, Gusty let go of the net, and the huge rocks crashed down on the rock bashers. Oh, dear! Oh, that hurt! Oh, oh, oh! I'm glad that's over. Right, lads, into the net, quick! The drills clambered into the net and away from the quarry, leaving the rock bashers rubbing their bruises. Biffolino was thrilled to hear their adventure and promised to sing a special song in their honour. Dip warned Gusty not to be so reckless in future. It's always best to stay away from danger. Just then, Cranky rattled up. Huh, so you're back, are you? Did you get the rocks? Um, no, said Gusty sheepishly. Just as well, said Cranky. She's changed her mind. She wants a flower garden now. A good idea, said Dip. We'll plant seeds and flowers will grow all over Cog's Hollow. 